dishwasher and walked off and then come back in the kitchen expecting the dishes to be getting all clean and then look down on the floor and find a wet puddle right out here in front of the dishwasher and think, oh no, what's going on? I got a flood in the kitchen. No! Is my dishwasher bad? Do I need to throw it away? Well, good news. It's actually a pretty easy little fix. I've had it happen to an older dishwasher and now I'm having it happen to my Kenmore Elite dishwasher. And so this time when I saw the puddle, I knew exactly what was going on. And so let me show you real quick what that is and kind of how to get up in there and, and get that thing fixed. The culprit for this problem is always this little thing right here. This is a float valve. And the way it works is when your dishwasher fills with water, this thing floats up and then it kicks off a little switch under there to stop the water from flowing in. Okay, and so the way this thing works is there's this little lever down in there and it hinges right there right where my thumb is. When the water pushes it up, it goes up like that and, and the switch goes off. The switch is over here. And then when the water goes down, this goes down and then pushes that like that and that pushes the switch. And so this thing on this particular model, and when I opened up down here, you'll see in a second, this fell out and it's it's really easy to put it back in, but just wanted you to see how that works so you'll know what we're dealing with. Well, if this thing gets stuck, which a lot of times it does, because see how gummed up it gets under there? That'll get stuck and then so it won't float up and kick off the switch. Then the water goes up into this little pipe and then out on the floor. I don't know why they don't have a way to contain that on the bottom because that's what happens when it overflows. And so this would be an easy fix if you could just slide this out, clean it off real good, and slide it back in. Problem is, is it doesn't slide right out because of this little knob on the end. And so you have to get up under, and I'll show you how to do that. So first thing you have to do is remove this access panel down on the bottom. I'm in this model here, it's um, held on by two quarter inch screws, just a, a quarter inch socket. That's the flashlight I'm using. And this particular dishwasher, after you take that piece off, this piece comes out with all the dampening stuff in it, which is kind of frustrating because I'm gonna have to resituate that stuff when I put it back together. And it's also frustrating because this gets soaked really gross. Okay, so when you first get down under here, down on the right side, under and right up under there, there's this contraption. And we're gonna need to open that thing to get in there. Um, and there's these little clips right there and just um, pinch them together and then pull this out. It's gonna hang up on the, the dampening stuff there. Push that up and get this out from under it so this little door swings open. This piece is supposed to be right there. See, like I said, like that's the button right there. You hear it click. Now that little arm is where it should be and see what the float valve stem is going to come down this channel and push on it right there and, and push the button just like that. And so we'll get that put together after we've cleaned off the float valve real good. Now I use this Kaboom stuff. We used it in our shower and it works great. I don't really know if you're supposed to use it on dishwashers, but hey, I think it's supposed to break down hard water and stuff, so it should really get this stuff. I think that little drain has um, gotten lots of hard water buildup on it. That's part of our problem. And so I just clean that thing off real good. All right, got that all nice and cleaned off and sprayed off. And so we're just gonna take this and slip it back down into the drain pipe there. And then we'll go back under. So maybe you can see the shaft slid down into this thing here. We're gonna need the end of it to come down and rest on that arm right there. Open the door just a bit so I can get my arm around inside. So I'm just gonna reach my arm inside there and push down on the float valve. See how I popped it down through there and now it's ready to go. Now we'll just shut this little door. Just push it up in there and get it to just pop over that. Now we're ready to put the cover back on. We should be back in business. Save money, learn stuff, and do it yourself.